What is that? What kind of puffer fish is that? Oh, oh my god, he's got spunk. A brand new needlefish. What is going on, my fellow fish guys and girls? Fish Guy Jack here, back with another video. Today's a huge day for not only the saltwater pond, but also for the channel. We're gonna be adding our first predatory fish into the saltwater pond. Our goal today is to go out and catch a fierce barracuda, you guys. This thing is an absolute predator here in our waters, and we wanna have it right here in our very own backyard saltwater pond. This is gonna be the first predator fish of many going into the saltwater pond, and as you all know, we are actually having a saltwater pond currently built as we speak that is going to replace this one right here. So we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna keep the fish that we have in here already so we can put them into the new one. But we're gonna figure that out. I have a very good idea how we're gonna make that happen. But without further ado, you guys, we gotta go out there. We gotta catch a predator for our backyard pond, baby. Let's get into today's video. The very first mission of the day today is going to be catching some bait fish. We're after some little tiny pilchards because these barracudas absolutely love eating these pilchards. The best all around bait for these fish are live baits as you guys can see they are fierce fierce predators they have some serious teeth on them when you put a live bait in front of their face they do not hesitate they just crush it we just got to the spot now now we're gonna look around try and find these little tiny pilchards a few weeks ago they were here who knows if they'll be here today but i got high hopes the most important thing today is gonna be good quality bait so let's put the time in let's find them now i'm pretty sure i did just locate them we have a very overcast day so it's gonna be extremely hard to see them you kind of just have to hope and pray that they're in the area that you think they are in which is gonna be right here so i got the net in my hand we're gonna walk out here just a little bit further and hope to see this school kind of just spook. Once we see that, we throw the net. Yep, we got bait, boys and girls. We got bait, boys and girls. Heck yeah, nice size too. Woo, buddy. That's what we're after. Big pilchards. That's got barracuda written all over it. Look at that gumdrop right there. Put them all in the bucket. We got a bird trying to steal it. What do you think you're doing? Fine, I'll give you a little one. There you go, because you're a good man. I'm not too sure what kind of puffer fish that is right there. I've never seen that type before, ever. I think we got to investigate this. Okay, he's in my net. He's definitely in my net. We got we to gotta figure this out here. Please don't swim under. I got him. I got him. Guys, no! No, yes, I got him, I got him. What the heck? What the heck is that right there? I have never, ever, ever seen this kind of puffer fish before in my whole entire existence of being a fish guy. Never! Should I be touching it? Maybe not, not too sure. That right there, you guys, is not a normal puffer fish, I'm telling you. What is that? What kind of puffer fish is that? It's, I know it's definitely a puffer fish, don't know the exact species. Usually we catch the checkered ones or the leopard puffer, but this one here, is definitely a different type. If you know what that is, comment it down below. We're gonna let him go free. Bye bye, little guy. You enjoy your day. You were way too easy to catch, so I, I, I encourage you to maybe be a little quicker on your fins. Tell me I got more bait. I've been grinding out here, boys and girls. Come on. Tell me I got more bait. More bait, please. More bait, please. More bait, please. I got a couple of baits, just a couple more baits, nothing crazy. Say we got another five? I'd say we still need about a good dozen more because these birds are literally jumping on top of my bucket, stealing my baits and putting them back in the water. We got just about all we needed here. Right there is the perfect barracuda bait for the one we're after. Those are beautiful gumdrop pilchards. We got one big one in here, that right there. Woo! If we could have gotten a dozen like that, it's over. We got all that we need. We also saw that weird puffer fish. If you know what that puffer was, let me know down below. Now it's time to go grab the big rod and we gotta go hunt down this barracuda for our saltwater pond. Let's do it. We've got a bucket full of bait, a cooler full of water, and the hunt is on everybody. We are after a 15 inch barracuda. That is the size limit here in South Florida and we're at the first spot. Weather is extremely gloomy. It is sprinkling. You guys are going straight on the GoPro. Can't risk this camera here because then uh, I won't be able to post for probably months, all right? so. Wish me luck, first spot, here we go. All righty, ladies and gents, we are here at our first spot of the day and we're hoping the only spot of the day. Take one of these beautiful pilchards that we caught earlier, hook it right through the nose, 
And we have a little piece of wire on here because of these fish. They got really sharp teeth and they will cut right through any material, any leader material other than wire. We got the first bait out. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. There's a bunch of bait fish around here. Look at all those mullet right there. Mullet every which way. What's that? There's no fishing off the seawall. Why is that? I didn't see one, but I... Some... Oh my God, oh my God, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. Big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. We ain't leaving. We ain't leaving, big fish here. We're gonna go ahead and leave because clearly that guy, you know, just wasn't very a happy man. As you guys saw, no luck at the first spot. Unfortunately, that's what you have to deal with a lot of times when you're fishing, but we're gonna not let this ruin our day. We have one goal in mind. That is a barracuda for the saltwater pond. Let's go find him. Well, the hunt continues, everybody. We've made it to spot number two. This is the Deerfield Fishing Pier, and this is actually where I found myself a lot of the days in the summer. In the summer months, this place is loaded with barracudas, so I'm hoping here in the winter, they're gonna be here as well. It is raining, it is gloomy. This camera has to stay in the truck, but let's hope to God we get a cuda today. Gonna hook this one right in the back since we're fishing about 30 feet up on top of the water it's best to hook the bait in the back this day has just taken a serious turn there's about no barracudas in sight all i can see are these big needlefish they're neon green and blue they're about two feet long i think it would be an awesome addition to the pond so let's see if we can catch one of those these needlefish have all been out a little bit deeper right around here now i'm just going to reel my bait right up on top and hope that these things will find it. Yep, we just got one, we just got one. Okay, we gotta let this thing eat for a second. Don't wanna let it eat too long, cause then he'll be gut hooked and that won't be good for the pond. Got him. Perfect size, perfect size of the pond. Let's go, hooked great. We're just getting home now. Let's go ahead and take a look at this brand new fish, needle fish, you guys. Let's take a look. Oh, all right. Yes, look at him. Okay, it's very, very hard to see him right now and I had to leave the hook in him just for a few seconds because I had to get him in the water as soon as possible. I didn't want him flopping around on the pier all day, but look at this fish. Oh my God, he's got spunk. Oh, oh my God, he's got spunk. He is so silver, really bright, and he's almost like a teal green or blue. And let me tell you what, I wasn't kidding when these things are predators. They have some serious teeth. And we're adding our first predator to the pond. It's not the barracuda that we wanted, but I'll tell you what, this is definitely a fish that we can check off the list that we definitely wanted to put in the pond. Before we add the brand new needlefish to the saltwater pond, I wanna go head upstairs and I wanna feed Charizard the Miniatus grouper a nice live meal. Let's go. Charizard's fired up and so is Tom. As soon as I flick these tank lights on, this guy right here just knows what's about to go down. Check out how rich that orange is. He's like, e e He's my favorite fish. That's why you guys see me feed him almost in every single video. He's just a beast. I did keep one of those samperch that we caught at the bridge and it was a smaller one because I know Charizard right here would want a beautiful live samperch. Charizard, you want it, boy? Here we go. We're gonna have to make him chase. Oh my God, every time. It's not even a challenge for this dude anymore. It is not even a challenge for him. As soon as you put it in, it almost swims right to his mouth. It's like, I wanna see him like chase the whole tank. Back at the pond now and we have our Big needlefish right here. If only he could show us his teeth there for a second. Come on, buddy, open it up. I did remove the hook. If you look at the color of him, he's got that really teal blue on him and almost a green. He's about almost two feet long. This is a big needlefish here, you guys, and we're gonna get him into the pond. That's a fierce predator. Look at those teeth. Look at those teeth right there. Alrighty, our brand new needlefish. Oh my God, look at that color, guys. Here he goes. He's swimming off. There he goes. Holy crap. This is our very first predator fish inside of the saltwater pond. Look at how good he looks. He's almost two feet long and he doesn't even make a dent in this pond. Let's drop a really good name from down below. Look at those colors right there. He is going to be really cool. They are big time top water feeders. So slap some shrimp right here and hopefully eventually we'll be able to get him trained and he'll hand feed right of our hands. That is an awesome fish. First predator ever added to the pond, baby. I cannot wait to have the final saltwater pond. We're looking at about six weeks, but once that thing is set up, it's gonna be insulated. We're gonna have a roof. It's just gonna, it's gonna be literally perfect. We're gonna have no worries whatsoever. We got the 4,000 gallon out here as well with all of our freshwater predator fish. Speaking of those guys, I think I have a few more live baits. Sure enough, baby. Alrighty, okay. As we all know, this fish always eats first. Oh, he missed it. Oh, he missed it. Oh, there he goes. He got it that time. See if we can get this one to get you. Oh, yeah. 
There's no, oh, it's still in there. It was still in there. It got, it got away. I think it got away. Oh my God. It's literally, I take one like this, watch. And the thing can hardly hit the water. Well, there's two. Watch this. Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, right here, right here. Oh, we missed it. Throw another beauty inside here. I want to see the tarp and actually get, look how fast that thing is having to swim. There he is. Here he is. He's right over here. He's right over here. Oh my God. The tarpon did just try and get him. Oh, there he is. Let's go ahead. Take a look at this guy yet again. Look at him right there. Now we can really start to see his color. He's sitting right inside of the flow. I am going to monitor him and make sure he's doing well. But you guys, smash a like on the video if you did enjoy. I promise that Barracuda is coming soon. That's definitely a predator we need to have. Remember to go check out fishguide.shop. Every single item we sell removes trash from the ocean. You all can use my code fishguidejack to save you 10%. And I'll catch you all in that next video. They're still blowing them up back there. Peace.